everybody. Took a little while. Technical difficulties. The joys of working from home. Everything is so much harder. Everyone thinks working from home is easier. It's actually harder to work from home because when I'm in the studio, someone else is doing my microphone and the lights and the camera. Here I'm doing everything by myself. So we tend to trend to, uh, to run into these little technical glitches. So thank you for your patience. I really appreciate it. And thanks for waiting. Uh, we're just about a couple minutes late. But today we are talking about instruments, weather instruments. Some of these you know, some maybe you don't know. And then we're going to show you how you can make your own rain gauge at home. A rain gauge is an instrument that measures the amount of rain. So you can actually put one in your backyard and see how much it rains. And you can have your own weather forecast with the rain in your backyard. Because when we give you the rain totals during our forecast, CBS 46 and really any station in the Atlanta market, our official uh, station for Atlanta is Hartsville Jackson International Airport. So at Hartsville Jackson International Airport, we have all these instruments that I'm about to show you. We have the rain gauge, the thermometer, the anemometer, the hygrometer, the barometer, all those instruments. We're going to talk about what each one does, but they're all at the airport. But if you live in Marietta, or if you live in Buckhead, or if you live in Lawrenceville, or Peachtree City, or if you live in Spalding County, then your numbers are going to be a little different. So if you want to do your own rain gauge at home, that way you know how much it rains at your house instead of at the airport, it's going to be a lot more accurate. So if you've always been fascinated by weather instruments, what they do, uh, please join in, share this post, share it with your friends. And today we're talking about weather instruments and I'm watching you as I always do. I have you here on Facebook. So I've seen uh, all my regulars, all the people who always watch every day. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Adam, I see Adam, you're on here. Bob, Bob, thanks for watching. Eddie, Butch, hey Butch, hope you're doing well. We've got Wesley watching from Ackworth and Patricia watching as well. So thanks for watching everybody. Today we are talking about weather instruments. First, we're going to talk about one that I hope everybody knows, a thermometer. Do you guys know what a thermometer measures? A thermometer. And I'm watching here on Facebook. I hope you all know what a thermometer measures. You can use it to take your temperature when you're sick. Let's see. Let's see. The Stevenson box. Bob is asking about yesterday's lesson. But let's see if anyone knows what a thermometer is. They're really hard to find right now <laughs> because of the coronavirus. But a thermometer... And I'm waiting. I'm a little bit on a delay, so that's probably why it's taking a little while. Fever, Bob. Yes, it measures your fever. But what does it actually measure? It's measuring your temperature. So a thermometer measures temperature. So um, thermometer, use it for temperature in the atmosphere, the temperature outside. But she got it right, temperature. Uh, it measures temperature. We've got Kelly. Kelly Hoffman just shared this. But yes, the thermometer measures temperature. But not only when you're sick and you put it in your mouth or your ear or they have thermometers that measure it on your forehead. But outside, we also have thermometers and they measure the temperature outside. But then we have other instruments to measure other things because not only do we need to know the temperature outside, we need to know how humid it is, so how much moisture is in the atmosphere. We need to know how strong the winds are. We need to know what direction the winds are going. We need to know uh, the pressure, if it's high pressure, low pressure. We use that to do our weather forecasting as well. So we use more than a thermometer for determining what it is outside and what it's going to do. So today's World of Weather lesson, we are talking about weather instruments. Tomorrow, we're talking about hygrometers and barometers. So make sure you join us tomorrow at 1.15 if you want to learn about hygrometers and barometers, what those measure, and how to make one at home. Because you're actually going to make your own hygrometer with a strand of hair, believe it or not. You're going to make your own hygrometer tomorrow at 1.15. So today's world of weather. Let's flip this around. We're going to scoot you back. See what's happening here. Let's hit play. And we are talking about weather instruments. And this is the first one we just talked about. And that is this guy right here, a thermometer. And as you can see, a thermometer has numbers on it. And you're looking at the number on the thermometer to tell you the temperature. The lower the number, the colder it is. The higher the number, the warmer it is. So the higher the number, the warmer. The lower the number, the colder. Another instrument, an anemometer. Who knows what an anemometer is? Can you guess by looking at it? An anemometer measures the wind speed. So the wind speed is what an anemometer measures. 
you see this little part here with these little cups basically depending on how fast those cups spin that tells us how windy it is so the faster they spin the stronger the winds the slower they spin the lighter the winds and if they're not moving at all the winds are very calm but we use that to detect how strong the winds are how fast to the winds are we can measure the wind direction with an anemometer but also we use something called a wind sock maybe you've seen one of these and a wind sock is used to measure the wind direction so we have these outside on a pole and you look at what direction the wind sock is blowing and that tells us what direction the winds are coming from it has a hole in it and the winds go inside it and again the stronger the winds the more you're going to notice that wind sock blowing in the air but a wind sock can help tell you the wind direction a rain gauge this is what we're going to be making today a rain gauge and we talked a little bit about this tells you how much rain was collected in your area so again if you live somewhere uh, other than the airport your numbers are going to be different than the Atlanta official recording so this is going to be something really cool you can make at home and you'll know exactly how much it's raining where you live so this is what you need to have not very many instruments at all so I'm hoping you have these at home if not put this on a list for mom and dad next time they go to the store or next time you order groceries uh, you need a two liter bottle and I was gonna make this with you but I do not have a two liter bottle at my home in fact I didn't have even a Gatorade bottle I didn't have any of that um, a two liter bottle you need six inches of masking tape so you can help uh, have your mom and dad measure six inches of masking tape and you're going to need a ruler so those are the only three things you need a two liter bottle six inches of masking tape and a ruler so gather those you don't have to do it right now we can go through how to make it right now you don't have to make it right now but once this is posted on our cbs 46 streaming app or on our cbs 46 website you can watch this again and pause it and go step by step and we can make it together but again two liter bottle six inches of masking tape a ruler now this part you're going to need mom and dad's or an adult's help with because you're going to need scissors or something sharp and it can get very sharp so ask mom and dad to help you or uh, a babysitter who's older or an adult you want to cut the top of the bottle off so cut the top of that two liter bottle so then you have the bottom of the bottle and the top of the bottle after that you're going to use that ruler and you're going to copy the markings onto the tape so you're going to measure six inches on that tape so one two three four five and you're going to use that ruler as a guide because you want your rain gauge to be accurate so you're going to make sure it's one inch two inch three inch so you're measuring inches here so with a sharpie or a pen and again you can ask an adult to help you use that ruler to make the same measurements on that piece of tape after that you are going to have the top of the bottle the two liter bottle that tape which has uh, five to six inches drawn on it and you're actually going to tape that tape onto the bottle so what you're going to do is flip the cut piece and replace it on top so what's going to happen is all that rain is going to be collected in that lid which is upside down and then come down the metal section then you're going to line the tape up with the top of the water you're going to add one inch of water to keep it from tipping because if you put it outside as is it's going to tip over because you don't have any weight in the bottle and when it, any kind of wind comes it's going to knock over so add one inch of water to keep it from tipping over and then you're going to start that zero right where that water is so you're not going to measure the water that's already there because then it will be an inaccurate reading you're measuring additional water that falls from the sky so add an inch of water then you're going to put that tape right there where that water ends and then tape it to the bottle so it goes up then when it rains outside it's going to fall collect inside the bottle record that number and empty it after each event remember you want to have that water though sitting at the zero every time so every time it rains you can go in your backyard write it down on a notebook or a piece of paper how much rain fell according to what it measures on your rain gauge and then empty the water because you want to start back at zero and start over again for your next rain event that you only need three instruments you can do it you can be your own uh, recorder of the rain in your backyard and then you can write it on a calendar and measure how much rain you're going to get now you do have several days to make this our next chance of rain is not until Monday 
So you do have until Monday to make it. I forgot, actually I made a trivia question. But here's a trivia question. And hopefully you were listening through today's lesson. What does an anemometer measure? Temperatures, wind direction, wind speed, or humidity? Do you guys remember what an anemometer measures? A thermometer measures temperature, so it's not A. It measures... Wind speed, C, an anemometer measure, measures wind speed. So, right, listening. Um, next chance of rain, going back to what I was saying, is Monday. So you have until Monday to make your own uh, rain gauge. Go ahead and make it. Take pictures of your rain gauge. I'd love to see it. And post pictures um, right here on this Facebook feed at the bottom. Because I'm going to come back and I'm going to see all your comments and see those of you who made a rain gauge. And let me know how much rain you get at your house on Monday. When it rains Monday... I want you to be my special weather helpers and tell me how much rain we're going to see on Monday with that next chance of rain. So I'm seeing everyone who's watching. Um, don't put it under the gutters of your house. Yeah, no, Butch. You want it out in the open to collect that rain. Wind speed. Very good, everybody. Wind, wind. Everyone got the answer right. I'm looking... Awesome. You guys are so smart. Thank you so much for joining us today. Tomorrow, we are going to be talking about hygrometers and barometers, and we're actually going to make our own hygrometer out of a piece of hair. So if you want to make something else tomorrow, we're going to be making more weather instruments for part two of our weather instruments. Everyone have a safe Thursday. We hope you have a great afternoon. I'll see you at four o'clock on CBS 46, and then I'll see you tomorrow at 115 for the world of weather. Everyone stay safe and have a great